Yeah, yeah, Doc. Doc. Buddy, meet me at my house. I have made another major breakthrough. I just got back from 1955, Doc. What the hell? I'm pretty tired. Look, just meet me at my house. This is really big. I'm on my way. Again. Oh, Doc. Just tell me why didn't you call me over here? Marty, you made it. So, I've made a time machine out of my skateboard now. You made a time machine out of a skateboard? What the hell is going on? We've got to travel to the year 2015. 2015? To save your kids. What happens to my kids? You'll find out when you get there. But look, I'll take the camera and you'll take the skateboard. I go to 8 miles an hour, you go to 18 with the skateboard, okay? Got it? Okay, well let's do it. Alright, Marty. Let's hope you understand. Look. I've got to 18. Wait, I go first with 8.8 .8 miles an hour on the camera. And then you accelerate to 18 with the skateboard. And that way we both travel to October the 21st, 2015. Where something happens to your kid. I'll explain once we get there, okay? Okay. Doc, so what happens to my kid? Alright, Marty! What happens to your kid is he gets killed by a gang member named John Lovato. So, you have to go into that cafe and try and talk to your kid. This may seem pretty dangerous, but it's the only way to save your kid from dying. I'm just trying to make it better for you, alright? So go into the cafe, Hades. It's just down the road there, into the high street. It's about to be daylight now, so he's probably going to come in before school. And, uh, just talk to him. Don't try to make any big movements like, I'm your dad, you obviously won't do that. So, good luck. Alright, and come back to me when you're done. Good. I'll be in my house. I've been here before, I know it's, I know it's not occupied, so I'll be there, alright? Oh my god, he gets killed by a gang member? Well, I gotta save him, he's my son. I should, I might, I might, I'll probably be much older then, so let's hope he doesn't know me. Alright, see you, Doc. Where the hell's my son then? Alright! Shit! Yeah, Jonathan, how you doing? Can I got a Pepsi? Ah, thank you. You know, you're the best. You're the best. You're the best bartender. Thank you. Oh, hey man, you look familiar. Uh, hey. <sighs> who are you? Oh, well, have a nice day, yeah? What's this? Hey, man, you forgot your camera! Wow, this is an old camera. From the 80s. Hey! Oh, he's gone. Man, someone left their camera. Do you want to hold on to it for a while? What's this, dude? Alright, Doc. I think... I distracted my kid from run ever running into that person. Good! So now he stays alive. So we're done here, we're going to go back to 1985? Yes, we need to go back now. Do you have a camera on you? Yeah, yeah, I got the camera. I don't have the camera. Great, Scott! Go to the cafe and check if it's still there. I'll be here. I'll go and try to find it. Excuse me, where did the boy that just had my camera go? Yeah, yeah, kid. He went. 
expectation. Doc, I've got bad news. It's not there. Great Scott, the Meteor Kid has a time machine. And he could do anything with it. He could start running for no apparent reason. He could be going to somewhere and then the time machine would automatically activate. Oh no, he thinks it's just a camera. Well, I've got my skateboard. Let's just travel back to 1985. It might be still okay. But if it's not, we'll have to work some way to put it back to normal. Okay. Alright, see ya, Doc. Bye. <sighs> back again. What's going on there, Doc? It says here, George McFly, dead. No! No! I gotta get dark. Something's happened. I'm afraid it is happening, Marty. I just took a look outside and it's different. It's not the same neighborhood. Your kid has messed things up, mine. And I know exactly when he messed it up. 1955. November. It's well. <clears throat> Alright, Doc, so what do you want me to do? Alright. So, so what you want to do is sneak in there. Because your kid has gone back in time and messed up the timeline with your dad meeting your mum. So take these clothes and just sneak in there and try and get your kid to stop the interfering, okay? But he can't notice you. Here you go. Alright, cool. Come on, man. Let's do another one. Nah, I really gotta go. Come on, let's do something that really cooks. Really cooks. Alright. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, though. This is an oldie, but um, well, uh, it's an oldie where I come from. All right, listen, guys, this is Blues Riff and B. Watch me. Alright, Doc, come up on stage and I'm trying to be good. My dad is right there dancing. Hey, George. Hey, uh, George. How you doing? My name's Benjamin. Benjamin, that's a nice name. Uh, well, I'm pretty happy. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Having a great time. Look, I just gotta be off now, so have a nice night, alright? I don't know that guy was. He did look a lot like Marty though. Doc! Doc! Marty, what's the news? I can see my son, he's got the camera. He had a time traveling camera, he's got it. If only I can get it off him. Well, try and secretly get it off him now that you've distracted him from talking to your father. And your father has asked out your mother. So your kid has not interfered anymore. You have to get the time machine off of him. I'm pretty good. <laughs>
you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. If your done, is getting awfully stormy, we have to go. We might not be able to get back and we might run into our past selves. Come on, Marty. What? Doc! Hey kid, this letter told us to be given to you at this exact time, at this exact day, that is it. Very second to you. Here you go. We was hoping you could shed some light on the situation. Dear Marty, I have been living happily for the past seven months since September 1885. Please do not come looking for me. I've got Einstein in my glory and I am very happy here. Unfortunately, there won't be another fuel source available for the next 60 years to be able to, to, be able to get my DeLorean back. So this is goodbye for now, your dear friend, Doc. The Doc! The Doc's alive! Hey, do you need help, kid? There's only one man that can help me.